the sunshine? Where's the creature sleeve? I don't know. Squat. Stop lying to us. What I'm, is it? I'm not lying. Come on, tough guy. Smack out of it, bro. Tell us. Don't make me do this. I don't know. I don't know anything. You don't want us. I don't know anything. I'm sorry about I this. swear. Ah! 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 I'll ask you one last time. What is the creature? I, I don't know. I don't know. Sleeve. Mr. Sleeve. You look pretty thirsty. Are you thirsty? No! 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 Goodbye, muchacho. You look like crap. Uh, and then I I escaped the house and he was he was chasing after me with his gun and then somebody playing Freebird just went 70, 70 miles per hour and just rammed into him. He saved my life and now I'm here with you. <laughs> Hello, I'm reporter and economist Hugh Mungus, reporting on the current economic situation of the US. As more and more people around the country begin to gamble, many of them are hitting it big in the casinos taking home boatloads of moolah. Everyone and their mother is gambling, including the United States government. While the average American is hoping to hit a 21 at the blackjack tables, Congress is hoping to see some huge return on investments as they gamble the federal budget away. On new infrastructure projects, including a brand new federal dam on the Mississippi River, and what will soon be the nation's largest nuclear power plant, smack in the middle of Detroit. With this huge increase in government spending, we can see here aggregate demand in the economy has shifted dramatically to the right. This has led to a decrease in unemployment, but at the cost of much higher price levels. Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to pay a heck of a lot more for everything. No, it's true. I've been hiring more employees, but have to pay more for medical supplies. Especially my Novocaine. Have any more loose teeth? Um, thank you, Mr. Dentist. Uh, no thanks. What's that? Did you know that you have the right to bear arms? The Constitution says you do. Hi, my name is Dick Cheney Jr., son of former Vice President Dick Cheney Sr., and I am here to sell you legal firearms. We got everything you want. We got bump stocks. We got ARs. We got AKs, whatever you need, come on down today! Dang, I gotta go get myself a gun. Well, so long, dentist. Wait, this may help you on your journey. What's this? Creatures and cryptids. Goblin cave. So long. Hey sweetie, you here for a loan or you here for some guns? I'm here to buy some guns. Alright, just take a seat, it'll just be a moment. Hey Dick, you got a customer! Oh, come in, come in, come in. Here. Pleasure. Dick Jr., Dick Jr. 
have a seat. I have a seat right there. I need guns. Let's, guns? Let's get over if I need guns. Guns right now. Serial no numbers? No tracing. Nothing. It needs to be... Nobody needs to know about nothing. this. Nothing. No, no, nobody. I can make sure that happens. Nobody. All right. I got two beauties here today. Right. No right. serial number on either of these pals. Right? They're right. great was, guns for you. Hey. What's the that? deer lamp? Oh, not, the deer lamp. The, oh, the deer oh lamp. yeah. Oh, the, the revolver. Oh, yeah. I picked that up off a dead guy the other day. Like, for sale? For sale? Of course. Everything. I'm here taking it. I'm taking it. Take, oh, of right. course. Well, we can get a deal all drawn get, up I'll here. I'll get all this. All, all of it. Here oh, you go. Here you go. of course. Oh, what? What? A One a cano. Hey, sweetie. You find everything all right today? <laughs> 